Hey y'all, it's Cody from Sleepopolis, and today we're taking a look at the suite of CBD products from Sunsoil. Made from organically farmed ingredients, these oils and pills and capsules, oh my, are designed to embody all the relaxing benefits of CBD. But do they actually work? Well, that's what we're here to find out. I tested out all these products, and I'm here to give you the 411 on how they feel, how strong they are, and whether or not they're worth your money. So ready or not, here we go. Based out of Hardwick, Vermont, Sunsoil uses a holistic, whole planet approach to produce CBD products that aren't just good for the customer, but also for Mother Nature. But how does the brand accomplish this? By putting a special focus on ethical pricing, transparent operational procedures, and verifiable third-party testing. And as far as products are concerned, Sunsoil offers an array of different CBD goodies, from soft gel pills to oil tinctures, hard capsules, and CBD-infused coconut oil. And though all these different products take on different physical forms, they're all derived from USDA-certified organic hemp that's free of pesticides and GMOs. So we know all of these products utilize CBD, but what in the world is CBD? Well, CBD, or cannabidiol, is a compound found in the flower of the cannabis plant. It's one of a hundred of these different phytocannabinoids, with the most popular being the psychoactive tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. However, unlike THC, CBD is not psychoactive. Yes, you heard that correct. CBD does not trigger hallucinations or intoxication, and it's mostly used to, you know, cause a relaxing effect and to alleviate things like joint pain, anxiety, loss of appetite, and yes, poor sleep. I should also mention that it's totally legal to consume and buy hemp-derived CBD in all 50 states. And though the internet's been buzzing about CBD's positive health benefits for years now, there hasn't been a lot of research done into its side effects. However, the studies that have been done have found it to be a safe and well-tolerated compound. For example, a 2011 study, which aggregated data from multiple studies, found CBD to be safe in up to 1,500 milligram dosages per day. And a 2017 study, which sought to add information to that survey, further found that not only was CBD safe for long-term use, but it actually had a better side effect profile at treating certain medical conditions like epilepsy or psychotic disorders. And as I mentioned up top, Sensorio has a couple of different products. Um, they've got this oil tincture here. They have, um, what is this one? They've got the hard capsules, they have soft gel pills, and they have a CBD infused coconut oil. Now I tried out all these different products and for me the oil tincture worked the best. Um, but if you don't like oils, you know they have these other options for you. But since this one worked best for me, that's one that I'm gonna focus on for the rest of this review as we get into my personal experience with the product. All right, so the oil either comes in a 600 milligram concentration for $30 or a 1200 milligram concentration for $60. The higher the concentration, the more CBD you're getting per serving. And according to Sunsoil, an entire serving is one full dropper. So in the 600 milligram bottle, a full dropper has about 10 milligrams of CBD in it. And the 1200 milligram bottle has double that at 20 milligrams of CBD. Deciding which concentration is going to be right for you is going to really depend on your body's size, shape, and weight. And it's going to be different for everyone. Uh, for reference, I'm about 6 feet tall, 165 pounds, so I decided to take a full dropper of the 1200 milligram concentration bottle. Again, that's about 20 milligrams of active CBD, which felt right for me. Um, if you're trying CBD for the first time or experimenting with a new brand, I highly recommend that you consult with a medical professional before doing so. You know, it's probably not going to come as much of a surprise to you, but I'm not a doctor. So everything I'm going to share with you is based solely on my personal experience. And just keep in mind that your own experience could be very different from my own. But speaking of which, let's get into my experience with the Sunsoil Oil Tincture, which I'm going to break down into falling asleep, staying asleep, and the morning after. Okay, so one of my biggest problems at night is falling asleep. Even if I'm like super exhausted, as soon as my head hits the pillow, my mind starts racing with a hundred different thoughts and worries and concerns. So when I'm looking at a sleep supplement or a new CBD oil, I need to make sure that it's going to be able to quiet my mind and relax my body so that I can actually fall asleep at night. And I'm happy to report that the oil tincture from Sunsoil worked like a charm. Um, I took, again, a full dropper of the 1200 milligram concentration and found that within 15 minutes, I was feeling totally relaxed. Like my shoulders felt loosey-goosey and it was just this nice fog of relaxation all the way from the tips of my toesies all the way up to my head. So um, it definitely quieted me down and got me all ready for bed. And I found it was really easy to fall asleep. 
Another huge issue I have is staying asleep. So even if I can fall asleep, it's sometimes difficult for me to sustain that slumber over the course of an entire evening. So not only does a sleep supplement or CBD oil need to be able to knock me out at bedtime, it needs to keep me from waking up in the middle of the night, which I do most nights. And unfortunately here, the tincture didn't really work for me that well. I'm not that surprised because CBD effects usually last for like an hour, an hour and a half. So even if it's able to put me to sleep, usually it doesn't keep me sleeping throughout the night. And I found here that the sun soil product didn't leave me like sleeping throughout the entire evening. And I woke up in the middle of the night most nights. And finally, the morning after. One of like the biggest complaints I hear from our fans and readers is that all these different sleep supplements and CBD oils make them feel super groggy the next day. So I like to consider how the morning after feels when I'm reviewing a product. And here I'm happy to say that I didn't really feel any grogginess, any hangover, anything like that from the CBD oil. That's probably because the effects were out in the middle of the night, but I still think it's worth noting that I woke up feeling clear-eyed and ready to go for the day. Okay, so we've gone over the brand, chatted about the ingredients, and gotten into my experience with the Sunsoil oil tincture. And now it's time to wrap this baby up with a few final thoughts, which I'm gonna divide into some pros and cons, starting with the pros. So first and foremost, I thought this oil was fantastic at getting me to fall asleep. Within 15 minutes of taking it, I felt super relaxed, super cozy, and my mind was really quieted down, so it was easy for me to fall asleep. Number two, I love that it's made from organic materials, you know, so you can feel good about what you're ingesting. And number three, I think at $30 and $60, the CBD is priced really well. You know, a lot of CBD oils go for $100, $150. So this is like a pretty strong value buy, especially for how it feels. Now, unfortunately, there were also a few cons. So my biggest complaint is that the oil didn't really help me to stay asleep. Again, that's not really the brand's fault. CBD usually wears off about an hour, an hour and a half, but it's still something I feel is worth mentioning. And number two, I didn't really care for the taste of either of these oils, which either come in a chocolate mint or cinnamon flavors, which for me are a little specific and just don't really fit into the palette that I generally enjoy. Well folks, that about does it for my review into the Sun Soil suite of CBD products. For more sleep-related content or educational resources, make sure to visit sleepopolis.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, happy dreaming.